Once you've created an appointment template, it is available for the user to select and insert. But if you want it to be inserted automatically without the user even thinking about it, there is a little more work to do. When an appointment is opened and it has nothing in its main body section, a check is made to see whether it has categories and, if it does, whether there is a template to match its categories. Let's have a look at this IT lesson plan. At the moment it has no categories so it will not be considered for auto insertion. If I click the box for the My Timetable category then that category will be added. However, that by itself is not very sensible as every appointment created from the Timetable tab on Academic Calendar's setup window will have that category. So this template would be applied to every appointment on the Timetable. The Other Categories button shows the standard Outlook category control with a list of recently used categories and a link to the Outlook dialog box where I can see, select or edit all my categories. So I could be very specific in the categories I choose. If there is a one-to-one -one match between a category and a series of appointments, then that is the simplest way to go. Here is the category that matches the ITHAD lesson, so it would be a perfect match. However, if I had other IT teaching groups, there would be other specific categories for each of them. And if I wanted to apply it across the school, I couldn't because I don't have access to the categories of other users. A better approach will often be to use the My Timetable category and supplement this with the settings on the Templates option form. Say I want to apply this template to any appointment whose category matches My Timetable and whose subject line contains... IT hyphen. That would potentially pick up all the IT classes in the school. I'm assuming that all entries for IT classes will have a standardised code with IT hyphen in it. You'll have to adapt this method to whatever system of naming teaching groups you use. You can narrow it down still further. Say you only want the template to be used on certain days. This second row is only visible when you've got a two-week timetable in operation. For now I'm just going to check Monday and Tuesday click OK and save it. So back in template list view we can see the factors which will control the way this template is used by auto insertion. This template will only be used for appointments that have the My Timetable category, have IT hyphen in the subject line and are on Monday and Tuesday of week one. Week two days will be represented by lowercase letters. Let's try it out. All the appointments here have the My Timetable category. On my display, each appointment is taking its colour from its most specific category, but on each one there is a small red-orange rectangle, the colour code for the My Timetable category. This English lesson is on Monday, but doesn't have IT in its subject. No template is applied. This is an IT lesson, and it's on Tuesday. So the IT lesson plan is applied. Back on list view, you can see that the IT lesson plan is actually the only one I've yet set up for auto insertion. What happens if more than one template seems to match an appointment I'm opening? Well, if there is a match based on a category other than the My Timetable category, then that is taken first and any My Timetable template is ignored. If there is still more than one template that completely matches, then Academic Calendar shows me a list of the matching templates so I can choose. So that is how you can prepare appointment templates for automatic insertion using the Academic Calendar add-in for Microsoft Outlook. There's more detail on the Templates section of the How-To pages of the website.